This is Dai Viet in EU4, and this is me in Hanoi, in real life. Today I'm going to be playing as Dai Viet whilst mixing in some of the history of the area with some cuts to me actually in those areas or explaining those things. I thought it'd be fun to add some more history to our history video game here. So to begin with all this, in EU4 and 1444 we start as a tributary of the Ming, but how did we get here? Well in 1418, Lei Loi Li being his dynasty name, rose up against the Ming who had conquered the area and made it a full-on province of the China. Legend has it that a mythical turtle gave Le Loi a golden sword to defeat the Ming with, which he then returned to the turtle after the war. At the start of the game, Le Loi is Le Long gone, and we have a rather disappointing heir, but not if I keep spamming the extend regency button. I talk about the history and even have fully edited vlogs available to Patreon supporters and channel members. I'm going on a three-month tour of Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, and a couple of other places. So if that tickles your fancy, consider supporting me. Anyway, today armed with some context, we're going to follow a similar path to the IRL Dai Viet by going south and crushing Champa before looking to expand west. However, we're going to try our best to not succumb to dynastic infighting, but we are going to look to step into China as an act of revenge. Enjoy a weird hybrid of mostly gameplay with a couple of historical tidbits and some IRL footage. And let me know if you want to see more. Okay, we do need to do a couple of things before we can prevent divisions, because we don't want the northern and southern dynasties. So, uh, historically speaking, as I found out, uh, Vietnam would... Well, to be fair, the, the National Museums are a little bit a little bit hush-hush about this, but uh, they would conquer all the way down here, head into Lanjiang or Laos in the modern-day Laos, and also parts of uh, Cambodia. Like I said, a little bit, little bit hush-hush, but today, because I am in Vietnam, I'll be playing as Dai Viet, uh, and, well, trying to not die to the Ming, because, as I might have already, and I probably would have already said in the intro, um, so I won't rehash it fully, but the Ming uh, have just left. We do have our heir, who is honestly terrible, and our regent, who is pretty good. Let's get monastic education, because Mystery Strength Plus One and Max Prosa Cultures is pretty good. Now we are the Mahayana faith, but this would have been more of a, of a Vietnamese folk religion. I've been learning a lot about that, so that's pretty cool. I'm sad there's no, there's no wonders. Yeah, no, no, like, Imperial Citadel would have been a cool one. No paradox. There's one here, there's the Imperial City. Okay, rivals are going to be Lanjiang, which they would be historically. Khmer, which they would be historically. And Champa, who they would historically take out. We are going to be heavily targeting Lan Zhang because historically they, I'm going to say that a lot, uh, they helped, we, we asked them for help against the Ming in uh, the uprising. However, they decided not to and instead decided with the Chinese. So tensions a little bit high on that front. So mission tree wise, we want to conquer Champa because yes, Rule Muang Fuang, which will give us a subjugation on Lan Zhang. Lan Zhang, which will give us a subjugation on Lan Na, which will then give us a subjugation on Ayutthaya, which will then give us Imperial Conquest till the end of the game, giving us 2.5% discipline. So that's pretty insane. But we're not there yet. We need to revoke this privilege in order to control the army. For 20 years, giving us plus 5% discipline, which is a heavy bonus. Curtail the nobility, which means getting rid of the nobility influence and increasing land by the crown to 40%, which is kind of hefty. Restoring examinations, which is just uh, getting the government reform examination system, which is this one, I think. There it is, examination system, which is really good, actually. Nobility influence minus 10% and possible advisors. And then we go on to prevent division uh, and defy Ming from there. How do I get this low? <laughs> I don't know. Land share is going to be a big one for that. Okay, I don't really want to hand out any privileges, to be honest. Because I don't want to give away any of my land or, well, give me any influence, really. No, I mean, okay. I can just get, I can give out monastic and merchant influence. Give them that yearly karma decay, oversight, some of that diplomatic reputation. Oh, that'd be good for now. Merchants are going to get patronage, free enterprise. Kind of want to give them bookkeeping as well. Let's do that. Why not? We'll start hacking away at that crown land. So to start with, we have attrition for enemies plus one, which is a tradition that the Vietnamese would have for a very long time, a couple hundred years. Uh, and cultural conversion cost, um, which they would also practice. There are 54 currently, I think it's 54, 54, 50, I think it's 54, currently recognized uh, minority ethnic groups, but they are 80% a single ethnic group, and you can imagine how that came about. Anyway, infantry combat ability plus 10%, we have yearly prestige plus one, forward defense plus 20%, which is actually kind of huge, manpower plus 25%, insane, core creation cost, which is very good, legitimacy, meh, kind of rough, and then technology cost with a final thing of morale of army. So a very, very good idea set indeed. Um, I think I am going to focus on military, 
We do make some money, so I'm going to put that on a National Arrest guy. We have Champ and Separatist down in Da Nang, where I'll be soon. We do have to we start with a good general. Okay. So first things first, let's revoke this guarantee, unless I can vassalize them. I cannot. So let's revoke this guarantee. And we kind of want to immediately go after Champa, if possible. Now, would anyone ally us? Yes. Do I want to ally anyone else? Nah, I think we'll do this alone. Actually, no, let's play, let's play smart. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I've got a lot of log footage that I want to uh, I want to show off. I need to make sure I do this properly. Okay. Who's more stability? And if we're not, it's immediately. And if we don't do the prevent mission, uh, division mission, yeah. A lot of bad stuff would happen, which is true. And we're going to immediately become confusion. Uh, I think that makes sense. So we immediately become confusion. <laughs> nice. Fort maintenance is costing us two. Because we have two forts. Uh, I kind of like the, the forts running our territory. Hmm. Peg wants a royal marriage. I'm going to say no. Okay, Champa doesn't have any allies. That's ideal. They are a Hindu nation. Uh, so it shouldn't be too hard for us to take them out. And they hopefully will stay diplomatically isolated. I need to also make sure I have a claim over here. They have allied Lanjiang. Not ideal for us, but that's fine. And Champa is running to our territory. Okay. <laughs> Crack on. <laughs> nope, they're running over here. That's the stupidest possible thing they could do. Yep, they're running all the way to this island. You'll see why that's so stupid in but a moment. I'm gonna get a couple extra thousands of troops. Not because we need them for this war, um, but because it's gonna be very useful to ward off any aggressive expansion. Okay, we're about to make a loss. Do I need this fort? Because realistically, this projects control over here. So this is actually kind of an irrelevant fort. Okay, I'm getting rid of it. Early game money is kind of important, as well as early game wars, and I've just ignored the fact that I've missed it by five days. Okay, here's why it's so stupid. I'm going to bring out my navy. I'm even going to put an admiral on it. And then I'm going to attack Champa. And now he's stuck. <laughs> he, <laughs> he can't move. I'm a little bit ahead of time. I can't remember exactly when Divia attacked Champa, but I think maybe 1478? Something like that. But when they did, they, they went in hard. All right, we have our claim on wine firing as well. I'm actually going to improve relations. Ooh, I tie wants an alliance. Damn, that would be useful, actually. Okay, let's keep relations with, with high with our tie for now because we want to take them out, but not immediately. And they're realistically going to be the only ones that we're concerned about a coalition forming with. Okay, let's leave behind a single cog and let's put this here. And this plague, not ideal. Tax income modifier, no. Um, how much, hang on, how much is that? Losing 0.4 ducats a month. Annoying, but not terrible. How long for? That'll be fine. We currently have a minus 15% tax modifier. That's great. That's that's just ideal. Gain 60 military power. That's actually, in, that's, that's so good for the start. Getting mil tech 4 is uh, one of the most impactful things you can do in evil. Okay, I don't actually want to fight this naval battle. I mean, I will if I have to. I just don't want to. Did I lose a ship? I think I might have... You know what, let's get out of here. No, he lost a ship. There's 100%, and I've timed that actually to perfection. Because now we take all of Champa's lands. This is still historic gameplay. Uh, and the fun thing... Come on, five days. Are you going to arrive in five days? Yeah, okay, we should be fine. The fun thing is that uh, Ming's going to fight those rebels for us. There we go. Nice. Get a claim on you. Actually, Mong Mao has taken them out. They're getting taken out by them. Let's attack you guys now. It's one lot done. Honestly, we're probably going to get the Peasants' War. So that that's not fun. We'll take out these stateless societies first. And then we'll think about that. Okay, we'll actually get it. 0.5. Probably. Maybe. Ah, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be okay. Not going to be okay. It'll be fine. Let's keep relations with Ayutthaya high. High. We can repay all of our loans and take up more later. All three have breached walls. This is it's going surprisingly well. The fun thing is on my Twitter, I did put uh, a photo of me in Halong Bay, which is around here. That's the one. That's the place with like the mountains coming out of the sea. Really, really beautiful place. Uh, and I put Thames looking lovely today. I got a Twitter DM saying, is that actually the Thames? <laughs> which just amazing. <laughs> Cambodian noble. Well, that's for a future episode. I'm not going to reveal any history of Cambodia today. There we go. That's the slot done. So first we take our Koho. Fun fact, this people over here, the raid people, uh, were matrilineal. 
uh, completely, but they're also exo, 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 exogonomous, ex, something like that. But basically, it means that it was illegal within the society to sleep with your partner and to have a kid with your partner. You'd have to have a, a, a like with outside. You, it was weird. So like the, the marriage was like a political thing, but not like a, you know, it, very, very strange. I've never seen anything like that before ever. But that's, I mean, hey, it's kind of, it's, it's unique. I'll give them that. <laughs> you can't, can't bang your wife, it's illegal. <laughs> you have to sleep with someone else. And if you did, if you did get caught sleeping with your spouse, it would, uh, you'd have to sacrifice either a bull or a pig. We're not too sure which. Okay, there's the next Miltech. Now we need this area to be completely Vietnamese. Like we need to get rid of the Cham people. Okay, we can still ally Ayutthaya, which actually gives us some options. Okay, here's the order I think I'm going to go in. I'm going to declare war on this lot, on Muang Phuang. And then we're going to split off Lan Zhang from his allies and then go after Khmer from there. So when's our true start with you? 1449, okay, soon. I'll go ahead and lower autonomy in these areas. Okay, let's do this now. Lan Zhang would come in, which is ideal. And let me start getting these claims. I'll call them Pegu, why not? Did not expect them to be down there. That is a surprise. Pegu sieging down Vientiane, where I'll be in two IRL days. Thank you very much, Raid. Rising up, that's actually inconvenient for me because I wanted to reduce your autonomy, but fair enough. You do you. Oh, dude took Vientiane in no time. What is that? Okay. I should go for Cheeky Humiliate here, I think. That, that war's gone so well. All right, Pegu, stay close. Stay close, Pegu. Nice, Siege of Lamprang. All right. You're not done still? Okay, that's fine. Gain stability, thank you. I don't like some of these movements like from Champ are just very, very confusing. Why would you, where are you going? I'll take some money, humiliate, get rid of his alliances. Damn, move my troops and they had a breach wall. Didn't unpause and yet the wall still remains unbreached. You don't do it. Oh my God, okay, for a second I thought he was gonna do the same thing that this lot did. Thank you. So what do I need to do? Rule them. Owned by me or it's non-tributary, so I don't need to vassalize them. And then I get subjugation for the next 10 years. So I just need to take it. You wouldn't... What? You wouldn't accept... What? Huh? But you don't have any land... You... What? I own your land. What? Just because you got 5k outside of a capital doesn't mean anything. Thank you. Crush... Crush your skull. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. So that's that sorted. And now you're just in my land. Which I'm not gonna lie, it's very irritating. I think I am gonna go ahead and get the free company. Just to shore up our reserves a little bit, because we are running low on manpower. Now, you are tech 3, we're tech 4. Where are you going? Okay, let's chase down his troops. Damn, he got away. They saw the sneak attack coming. Need to wait a cheeky calendar month. But if I trigger it, like when he's past this, he has nowhere to go. So, so now, if I fight him, we should be good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and lower autonomy. You know, I like to land now. Nah. It's upsetting. Well, there's no way around this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he should be trapped. Obviously, it would be ideal if he didn't have any friends, but that's fine. That's fewer troops than I was expecting to be up there. Why? I can only see some of them. That's not the full amount. Look, they're hidden. That's strange. Okay, and now I have a terrible military leader. Probably should just fought him. I am going to chuck offensiveness over here. I'm going to take you lot and send you out this way. A tire would come in for nothing, which I don't really need. I'd need him against Lan Zhang. And I'll take another general, a 4141. Now I've got one shot at this because this is going to suck. All right, phenomenal. We've taken Phnom Penh. <laughs> Phnom, Phnom Penh. <laughs> I'm so caught up with this stupid joke. All right. Cool, just Ayutai and no rebels. Fantastic. That's cost me a thousand five hundred manpower that I really, really didn't have to spare. Okay, breach walls, negative fourteen to negative fourteen. We should have this under wrap soon. Let's see if it reacts to me walking past with some troops. That doesn't appear to. I don't want me sieging down. Sweet, we've taken uh, the Emerald Buddha. Three five percent uh, army professionals, which I think I'm gonna slacken now for some, because I'm gonna use mercenaries later. So let's do that. We'll just get the manpower from now. Let's gather all our men. Let's peace you out. I need to, you to get rid of your alliances. Khmer won't matter. These two will. You will. And rivalry. No, you won't in rivalry? Okay. That'll do. 
Right, we should have a massive advantage here. We have 3,000 troop advantage. That's not that's not massive. And he has a better general than I do. Do you have tech 4 now? Okay, good. At least I don't have tech 4. How do you know? You have no techs. You should just die here. I don't think you can... Can you leave? Why can you leave? That's illegal. Well, still, it's 99%, so I imagine I could just sort of take what I want. Now, there's a chance that this is going to piss off Ayutthaya. And that's a chance I'm willing to take. There we go. Okay, Ayutthaya's... He's upset, but he's not desperately upset. He's not turned hostile yet. He will, though. So I've gone ahead and uh, increased the Regency. <laughs> because our heir is, frankly, an idiot. Even if he is descended from a king who gave a gold sword, or got a gold sword from a turtle and then gave it back. Okay, now we chill for a little while until this truce with Lanjang is up. Then we got a rampage. Now, do I, do I royal marry you? It cost me stability. I'd get subjugation on you. I mean, there's no way to stay with me, right? You know what? Let's um, let's do it. Let's tie you to me for a little while. Because worst case scenario, I can just nip below him for a while. All right, now government reform. Curtail noble privileges is the natural choice. We need money and we need to get rid of their influence. Am I wondering why I'm, see why I'm uh, summoning the diet if it gives them influence? Them being the nobility in this case. It's because I've been summoning generals anyway. So I might as well just go ahead and... Go whole hog until I can get, what is it, the 40%? 50% crown line. And it's also giving me little bonuses if I do things like this. Damn, oh, I thought I had a bit more than that. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Or declared war on Ming. Can you back that? I, mm, I don't know that you can. Oirat declared, not Ming. Hmm. All right, the next tech. I'm wondering if it's worth deving. Hmm. So I'm not going to war for how long? Like seven years. Okay, screw it, we're gonna do it. Get dev cost. Gotta bump this up by one. Get some ducats. Okay, Renes is halfway done. Okay, I don't know how long I've been muted for, so I'm gonna give a quick summary, and hopefully, uh, my very talented editor will do a uh, an overview. I have been fighting Lan Zhang, uh, and I've just gotten tech. They have been uh, tactically winning, strategically losing. Ming got his ass kicked by Oira uh, quite badly. It's, it was very amusing to see. Ming is now losing to uh, Chagatai in the War of Karadel. I have now taken tech and now we need to push on and fight Senwi, Ava, and Mong Pai. We've taken most of the stuff, so yeah. Oh, and I, uh, I took a bunch of loans to embrace the Renaissance because I was sick of getting my ass beat. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, let's peace out Senwi. Actually, get war operations here from, uh, from Ava. There we go. Mong Pai, I mean, they don't want to peace out, but also they're the only ones that I would want to peace out uh, for war score because well, we have their territory. Uh, let's force religion on him, war operations, and all that good stuff. Damn, we lost 70,000 troops in this. Okay, Vietnamese vassal and some money. Okay, a couple of people would become a little bit upset at me for this, but that's okay. I can rival Ayutthaya, which I, again, I don't want to do just yet. I need their help against Lan Na. And then, how does it work? So if I take that, then I subjugate Lan Na, and that gives me a claim on Ayutthaya. I'm going to do that first. Ming broke the tributary state. That's rough. Well, it's a bit formed. A little bit earlier than I'd have liked, to be honest, because I still want to fight Khmer. We have become a great power, though. Fifth rank great power, actually. <laughs> we got the uh, Renaissance before the Ottomans did. Does mean we're going to generate a coalition now. Okay, well, if we're going to generate a coalition, let's do it properly. And let's do it quickly, okay. Do I take the steady? Because if I take a steady, I won't have to fight a bunch of people here. I don't know. But I'm concerned about the coalition, because if there's one guy in already, a couple more can join. And Khmer is a problem. Because no matter what happens with that, Ming's going to be a problem. No, I think I've, I've, uh, I've lost my nerve. I'm going for it. Because after this, I'm going to be forced, because of a coalition, because I'm going to be taking Khmer stuff as well. That's going to be rough, okay. Like, I'm going to have a coalition against me anyway. And we're probably going to have to fight Ming, because they're probably going to join the coalition. Can't let Ming get control of any of these provinces. And by that, I mean are you tired? Because <laughs> they all want them for themselves. All right, take an idea group. I think I'm just going to go full quantity, you know. It pairs nicely with this idea set, but... Mm, we do need... Yeah, we do. Because it's, we'll get compensated with this combat ability. We'll have decent troops. And we need the quantity, because this is a nasty area to fight in. Can I need this war to last as long as possible? That's um, a terrifying army. We're 3-2. Okay. 
It's all very painful indeed. <laughs> okay, we've got arquebuses now. That's tech six. Minions take fours. So that's nice. Can you find out Tai? I'll, I'll be there soon. That's Lanjang. Why Lanjang fighting? Dude, Lanjang just beat the ass. Oh my god. Ah, examination system. Perfect. That's nobility influence minus 10. We're getting there. There you go. And now I can revoke this. Oh man, that's so good. So I can actually hire generals. <laughs> like this 0621. Okay, restore examinations. We get skill 3, 90% cheaper and 100 admin. Thank you. I'll take you every day of the week. Cartelling the ability is close. And controlling the army isn't bad either. So Cartelling the ability just requires another 5% crown land. Which we'll do as second we are done with this war. Which might take a little while. But because we want it to. Alright, this mystery thing is not working. So we're going to wait until later for that one. Which promises can I convert to confusion? <laughs> You're lying to me. I mean, I could harmonize the Dharmic group. Although Theravada is probably a better idea for now. Let's, let's harmonize Theravada. Ah, that's only 10,000 manpower. Keep, keep fine, Aitaya. You're doing great, love. All right, now let's get Prome out of the war. That's one lot out. Keep, keep fine. I, they literally have only have 10,000 men. They got nothing. I haven't helped at all. <laughs> keep, keep fine. You got this. Defense. Ooh, look at Ally Jumper. Great idea. Ooh, but minus is even better. Mm. I like Oirat. Yeah, actually, probably could. Then no one will actually challenge me. That's ideal. Nice, took a seaport. Crack on. Good job. Proud of you. I've always got my manpower back, so I'll be able to help in, in, in a very short amount of time. You, can, you keep fighting. Okay, you lost that one. Uh, let me piece these guys out. <laughs> this is great. All right, they've become confusion, <laughs> which has probably caused some confusion. <laughs> I was looking off camera to the withering stare of my girlfriend. I'll send 4,000 men to help. Let's take admin ideas. Nice. Okay, now we're ahead of time. And I can even take Levé en masse. The influence is now four. <laughs> okay, it's 14. Okay, before it was four. Uh, all right, actually, I should summon the diet. Oh, that's money. Nice. Okay, sweet. Let's peace out you and take your stuff. That actually does not cause as large of a coalition as I thought it would. I think mainly because we've been in this war for almost 10 years. Vietnamese vassal. That should do some damage. Yep, there you go. All right, we can ally Oirat. And then we can also ally uh, Jamper. Good stuff. We're in a, an excellent place. Okay, we revoked that. Only just 1.2% crown land, which I'm going to get by deving. Then we can focus on getting the uh, nobility loyalty up. So what's the cheapest place for me to dev? Nice. 0.8%. So I think that's another like two dev clicks. Uh, sure. We'll do this. Uh, do I have to extend my regency anymore? Nice. I can let... I can... Uh, I can... Wait, what? Make Nguyen Thuy abdicate and let Bang Thao to the throne. No, I don't want that. I'll extend the regency. Another 10 years. 10 more years! 10 more years! <laughs> Go ahead and decrease the autonomy over here. And also here. So the thing is with army sizes in this sort of era is that allegedly, actually around this sort of time, Dai Viet invaded Lanzhang. With around 180,000 men, Lanjang had 2,000 men. Uh, and the, and the Dai Viet uh, ended up kind of mostly winning. Like, they took the border provinces, uh, but didn't do too much else. Um, here's the thing, though. That's a lot of men. Like, at the time of, of this, I mean, you're talking Agincourt 5,000 men, I think, on the English side. You, like, let me double check that. I don't want to make up things. Okay, a little on the line. So, 6,000 men uh, on the English side, about... 25,000 on the uh, on the French, right? That's that's England and France. I mean, admittedly, the English were fighting not uh, their very uh, largest amount there, but that's like the French have brought 26,000 troops to bear, defending their homeland. Like I know population is kind of crazy, but damn. Okay, so the influence needs to be lower than 40, which I can keep. Yeah, that'll that'll stay low. What I do want to give them is strong duchies. Because that'll help with diplomatic relations. Eliminate that issue. Is that enough? Or is it, I think probably one more maybe. One, two more clicks probably. Two more clicks. And there we go. Cartel nobility. That gives us national tax modifier for the next 25 years. Now we need the nobility loyalty to be a good amount. So now we can actually hand out nobility rights and such. Uh, so we have the crown. That's a good one to give. Expand the fortifications. Hawk loves that. So I'll back my boy and take it myself. Okay, sweet. We're close to preventing disaster. It's actually a hard one to do. 
In comparison to most of the ones, like uh, Magic Pirates one's easy to get out of. I haven't played the Camille one in a while. I'll do that when I visit Cambodia. Uh, <laughs> again, if you want to watch any of my travels, make sure to become a member or a channel, uh, channel member or with, by clicking join below or become a patron. You'll have access to fully edited vlogs. Okay, I'm just waiting for my manpower to tick up and then we'll be in a position to break the alliance with Ayutthaya and go after them. We actually have probably sufficient allies here. Our money's good. Life's pretty, uh, life's pretty alright. Let's see if the Ming are able to bounce back. Oh, the defender against Oira. <laughs> the Oira conquest of Saragyogia. Uh, <laughs> really? They're gonna fight the entirety of the Ming for Saragyogia? Alright, that's the second idea. Cover manpower. Nice. Meanwhile, Ming's already almost completed uh, trade ideas. They don't have the all-important renaissance, which Ayutthaya, I believe, will do soon. That's annoying. It's because we're friends. They just took tech. Yeah, they did. Tech 6. Ayutthaya's going to be a nasty one for us to fight. Expiring Casabella. <laughs> the subjugation. I, I, I feel like we already did that one. Another late fun fact uh, is the French had such a... Um, I mean, I, I would say drive, maybe, um, to drive up the population in... Uh, in Laos uh, when they had control of it. They actually started importing a load of, uh, or moving around a load of uh, Vietnamese individuals in Vientiane, the capital. So the Vien the, actually there's a lot more, I think at that point it was like 54% or 53% uh, Vietnamese. So there's a lot of Vietnamese people over there. Before they, for the Japanese invasion of Indochina, there were actually pl uh, plans for three major areas to be flooded with Vietnamese people. Um, uh, with, so you could argue that they were very, very clever. Indeed, some historians do argue that the Lao people were very, very close to actually losing their country because they would have been a, become a um, a minority such that when borders are being decided in in that sort of region, there would have been an overwhelming majority of Vietnamese people, and so a lot like probably would have gone to Vietnam. Uh, so yeah, close one on that. Should always be aware of uh, historical determinism, of course. We can't know that that was the case. That would have been the case, but it is a possibility. As we take war taxes, and, and not an unreal one, given how things sort of panned out over there. But again, I'll leave that for a, a future episode with, with where he plays Lanjang. The only issue with doing this over and over again is that I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of playing the same region each time, so people might get bored, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, I think we're in a good enough place now to dissolve this alliance. Not the general, we've got a 6-2, and let's put our 0-6 on, and we'll draw them both. We barely turn a profit, but we do actually put the turn a profit, actually turn the core ant, stupid of me. Golden River Culture, nice. 50% cheaper skill 2 artist, yep, I'll take a loss on that. We need the admin, so that works. I don't need these forts at the moment. I should have harmonized Hinduism right at the start. Oh, that's probably a bit of a mistake. And extend the regency again for another 10 years. So what's your diplomatic situation like now? It's just Khmer, Mong Mao, Tibet, Sarayugi, and Korchin. You just got your ass kicked by Oira again, didn't you? Oh boy. When will you take this? 21 days. Okay, so I have enough for, to leave it for a little while to get one month tick. Should hopefully be enough between a victory and loss. Nice. Whew. Okay, that could have been bad. Okay, so four years. Oh, control the army. Perfect. So 20 years of discipline. I don't need to trigger that just yet. Then I can trigger this. I get undivided until the end of the game, give me stability. Cost modifier. And then faith and learning. Religious harmonization speed plus 25%. That's kind of big. So I'll, I can make Ming lose 20 mandate and I get a load of claims on them. Again, I'd love to do that, but it feels kind of cheap to go after him. If Sam is still alive, that's good. And we get infantry combat ability. It's a good starting idea, that. So when is this up? 85, so three years. We slipped down to seventh place. The Ottomans are first. Okay, I was about to say the Ottomans aren't on here, but no, they they were first. Cambodian rebels, take them out real quick. I'm actually, going to start doing some covert stuff over here. The spy network. Oh dear. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but she's dead. So now we have a one one two in charge. Three zero five. It's not not great. It's not terrible. Just wait for our king to die. He's a naive enthusiast. Ugh. I say not great, but not terrible. That's, that's pretty terrible. Now, what idea group do I want next? What synergizes well? Honestly, admin ideas could be a shout here. I'll have a couple of vassals, so influence is always a good idea. Do I not want the direct control, though? Let's go influence. Gonna need it to integrate this lot. Oh, nice. I'll take 
payment in full. Let's see if there are any other buildings worth building. Oh right, I need to make a tire my rival. Aw, they're still asking me for money. That's cute. And they announced me as their rival. There goes that friendship. Two years. The boys are actually close to being loyal. <laughs> I think everyone can join a coalition, they're just not. Delian Reconquest of Multan. Okay, so I picked the wrong horse here, I think. Bahamanus might be a better shout. We actually have the largest army of anyone we know. Uh, Delhi. Delhi has the second largest, and then it's Bahamanus. So let's ally Bahamanus. <laughs> Paid the foreign debt of Mormao for 12. Good job, Ming. True hero. I'm not doing anything with my navy as well. Ah, I don't need to. It'll be fine. Okay, I've got claims. Oh, the, the game is pushing me to declare war on the Ming. I have to, surely. It's begging me to. All right, let's trigger this. Subjugate Lanna. Which gives us the Casus Belli. And that's going to give us some permanent discipline soon. Go ahead and dissolve the alliance over here. Grow one back minus instead. Yeah, Jumper, I'm sorry. I just I don't feel the same way about you. It's a bit expensive. We're actually getting two cannons. Or six cannons, sorry. Three for each stack. It's going to be very expensive, but it'll be fine. They'll pay for themselves in the long run. And there we go. Subjugation. And our guys are loyal. And we've immediately reached the walls. Didn't even have to use anything for that. There is a distinct lack of forts in the south of the country. Okay, let's go fight that. Kind of need this war to be done with quickly. And we've won the Siege of Ayutthaya. As if the game could hear me. Oh, right. And I was also meant to do this. Prevent division. Control the army. And we now have 110%. 115%? 100%. 100... We, we have discipline. <laughs> Oof, walked right into that one, didn't you? It's nice having loyal vassals that run around killing all the little enemy stacks that I don't really want to be bothered with. I'm going to trigger this to get some more harmony and more harmonization progress. Siege of the Sukhothai is done. Siege of Thawai is done. There should be a stack wipe here. There we go. Don't you have vassals? You don't have vassals? I thought you had these guys as your vassals. Damn, that's rough. They're tributaries. Well, you no longer have an army and thus are no longer a threat. I'll be honest, I don't know what Pranarang is. Down here? And and that's who is... Okay, I, I kind of went overkill. I spent a lot of money on the whole cannons thing, and I really, really didn't need to. Sweet. Subject is I am. So we get 2.5% discipline for the rest of the game and a claim on the Burma region. Nice stuff. And we're back to making money. See if anyone joins the coalition. And now we only have one loan left. Excellent. To the end of the game, siege ability plus 10% if we buy Western Arms. To be fair, it was, it was purchasing Western Arms that did in Vietnam. I mean, the, it was uh, a dynasty asking for help, inviting the French. Bad idea. Never want to do that. Uh, never inviting the French. And then they went ahead and... Find the capital. Uh, they went ahead and did the standard stuff of sending in some missionaries, which means there is, a, there is a Catholic minority. Catholic minority predictably gets taken out, which obviously a very, very bad thing. Uh, and then France comes in as the defender of the Catholic minority and takes over the place. Would anyone like to be vassalized by me? Prom, Ake, Keda, okay. Just because if we're going down that route, we might as well go down that route, you know? Okay, we can enact another government reform. Harmonizing religion improves closure loyalty by 100% and grants 50. That also helps out with religious harmonization speed, which I think is probably the best thing we can do. Okay, our king is dead. Long live another queen regency. 430 and she's cruel. Oh, for f Women have really ruled this land for a lot longer than the men have. I think Ming's about to explode. No, nope. well, <laughs> there's your timing. All right, yeah, I was meant to scornfully insult the Ming. And that is going to give us, though, it's going to make them lose 20 mandate and give us loads of claims. And we're in such a strong state and they're in such a weak state. I, I mean, we, we might as well, right? There's no harm in fighting the Ming. Literally, <laughs> they have nothing going for them. All right, let me go murder the champions and then and then all do it. They've just got a nomadic frontier. I mean, it's again, it is begging for it. All right, we're doing it. I can't resist that. And our friends would come in. Okay, they're gonna break apart anyway. So what I'm doing, I'm protecting the people from chaos. That's what I'm like. If you think about it, that's what I'm doing. Like, just, but don't think about it too hard. <laughs> but if you were to think about it, like just the right amount, that's what you know. Would you would you'd figure out really? Oh my god, the morale is 2.6. Okay, that's um, they also got increased soft. Jesus Christ, all right, let's go rescue the Ming. <laughs> I was hoping they'd be the big boss of this, but no, okay, Japanese relations. By the way, I, the reason I did that is just to, to show you how stacked our diplomatic relations are. Like, it's it's pretty good, so we can get a bunch of vassals. I'm not gonna do that, but we could if we wanted to. Are they landing troops on me? Really, why? 
Norwegian is a loyalist. Could they be not though? Because I there's a chance that I'd, I'd get a good ruler. I, really? You landed 900 troops on my shore? Bro, they just apply for visas if you want to visit the country. What are you doing? That's not an army. Have you taken Beijing yet? No, you're getting your ass kicked by Korea. How? Right, there's the siege of Canton. Speaking things I can't count on. Like, just please. Oira, do better. All right, another diplomatic reputation and some land maintenance. Almost at that uh, massive bonus to manpower. Didn't think we'd get this far. We've sieged Wu Chang. Can I get to? Okay, I can get to Beijing now. That's ideal. <laughs> Lan Zhang just dove in head first. I respect it, Lan Zhang. Fun fact after the invasion was mostly rebuffed by uh, the Lan Zhang, uh, the Dai Viet dynasty at the time, uh, I think it was the. Not the lowly, the, the other ones. Um, they were friends for the next like 200 years. Not friends, but you know, on good terms. There's Siege Beijing. Korea's actually on medium. And we're out of money. That's fine. Fighting Ming. 305, uh, 223 is an air. But he is just. It's funny because his region was cruel. Dude's a Disney princess. <laughs> Legit had the whole storyline and everything. My father's cruel. I won't be that person. 54,000 Ming troops. I'll take them out myself. I'll prefer to not fight them in the Highlands, but I want to see how well my troops do. I, I think like 2 to one's a bit much. Or it's not. 112% discipline. Hell yeah. All right. Well, we slaughtered them. <laughs> Let's keep going. They legit have nothing left. Look look at the... Oh my god, there's no troops left. Shen Yang's done. Let's go up to Korea. I think... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm only going to take my claims. Damn, there's a lot of war score left over. <laughs> I'm only going to take my claims like plus a buffer zone. It's important to have a buffer zone. We have 200% overextension. It, we, look, it's important to have a buffer zone. You need a buffer zone when dealing with... Because you never know when they'll be back. The Qing could be back at any point, you know? And and technically, now we have a claim on the entirety of South China. So, I'm right. Also, that's a lot of our extension. The Timurids are dead. That does put us at number two great power, though. <laughs> and that does bring us to our end of our journey with Dai Viet. I improved ourselves pretty well here. I think uh, if people are enjoying this, the kind of like a mixing of like historical facts and like little videos from where I am right now, uh, I might continue it uh, for Lanjang, Khmer and Ayutthaya. I'll probably try to do a different campaign for each one. Daivia was focused on China just because it had to be, but each one has their own little focus tree. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy to hybridize it more, hybridize it less. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.